Hey everyone, Ann with CNSafe.com, back for the start of another vlog. It is Friday and it's been a very busy morning so far. Had to take Papa to the urgent care this morning. His leg is really hurting him and this is day three and it's really bad today. So they did x-rays and blood work. Everything came back fine. The doctor's testing for gout. Uh, and then this afternoon, I need to take him up to the hospital to do a ultrasound to see if there's a blood clot. So anyway, he is resting comfortably now. It only hurts when he moves, but he's in a lot of pain. So kind of preoccupied, making sure he's taken care of. And then, of course, the doggies uh, trying to get my blog work done. We I think we were gone for almost three hours this morning. Um, so we just got home, had lunch and I uh, have some eBay orders to show you, so I uh, need to get to that. So the first thing to sell was this SpongeBob SquarePants Mega Blocks set. Um, I picked this up for $2 and it sold for $14.99. I did put free shipping on it to move it fast, but it is actually pretty lightweight. It's really lightweight actually, so it'll go uh, first class. This is a La Tiger, La Tigra, I don't know what. I got it at the consignment store. It's still new without tags. It has this, but it doesn't have the hang tags. Um, I paid less than a buck for it, and I put it up. Um, I've had it for a while, so I got it down to $9.99 with the buyer paint shipping, and it'll go in a flat rate bubble mailer. And then a pair of these uh, Hurley Nike Dry Fit shorts that I got at Gordman's. I paid $5 for these. And I, again, I've been kind of marking stuff down. So I got these down to $19.99 with free shipping. And these are super light and they're going first class um, as well. It is after dinner now and uh, we got home from the hospital. My dad went and had a um, ultrasound and he's completely fine. No breaks, sprains, blood clots. There's nothing there. So the doctor determined it's arthritis. Um, so he gave him some anti-inflammatory meds, but already the set, like when we got home, he's feeling a lot better. He's up and around. He came down and got the laundry. So he went from getting up this morning or waking up and not being able to move to now he's up and about. So arthritis is a bitch. Ugh, I don't know. He was, he said he was in more pain than he's ever been in, in his life this morning in his leg, but now it's, it's pretty much gone. But tomorrow it very well could be back. So that has been most of our days dealing with going to the hospital, but you have to check it out. I mean, it could have been a blood clot, and then that's super serious, so better safe than sorry. Um, two sales I've had. First is this Webkins. I got this for a dollar, and it sold for $14.99. I did put free shipping on it because it's super light. It's going to go first class. A set of flatware that I would have gotten for, I think maybe I would have gotten this for nine. I'm trying to move some of the flatware. So I put it at, I had it higher than I put it down to $24.99 and it did sell at that price, but the buyer is paying shipping on top of that. So I have so much flat where I just need to move some of it. So, you know, it's better to just get some of this stuff out of here and get some money than just try to hang on, you know, to every last penny because I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that brings today's sales to five. Um, better than nothing. Mostly played together. Oh, playing, playing. <laughs> Are you counting in here, the boss, Lucy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucy's like that is enough. I have had enough. <laughs> oh, are, oh, is he gonna suck her armpits? I thought. Oh my gosh, that's just what she and Max used to do. They'd play fight and then suck his armpits. Oh, it's just sick. Sickos! Hi, Charlie. You and Lucy wore yourselves out playing, didn't ya? Lucy sleeping. Charlie gonna sleep. Huh? Gonna go night night. How you feeling, Dad? Fine. How's your leg? 100% better. Isn't that crazy? It is. Hi, Lucy. I think I would have stayed home today, probably just sort of like this now. Mm, well, good thing you have good insurance. It is now Friday night. I was just getting ready to go to bed when I had two sales come in. Uh, this is a men's polo Ralph Lauren shirt. So it's about the fanciest brand I can get here in Iowa. Um, XXL. I got it for a buck. And uh, it sold for $19.99. And I had... Um, 
buyer pay shipping on it. So buyer paid shipping on top of that. So that's always nice. Uh, this is a Coldwater Creek blazer. Very blingy. It is a size 16. I got it. Did I get it at the dollar sale or did I get the consignment store? Oh, regardless, I paid less than three bucks for it. Uh, and it sold for $24.99. I did put free shipping on this. It is going to go flat rate. Um, I talked about before that on in there's a huge reseller community on Instagram. And it's a lot of younger people um, in their 20s. And it's just kind of funny because I call them the Instagram girls. And I don't mean that derogatory because I'm just a lot older than they are. They're like, to me, they're younger girls who are resellers. And, you know, of course, they're attracted to all these fancy brands and you know what's hip and trendy and they're always looking for you know what's in style at the moment and I I've heard some of them talk about like Coldwater Creek and J. Jill and Chico's and like well I'll only get it if it's like really cute and trendy but the thing with this stuff there the thing with reselling and eBay and clothes is there are people from all over the world all ages all shapes all sizes all styles so just because you may be attracted to a certain design or your friends, you know, are wearing whatnot doesn't mean that there aren't a ton of other people who are into something completely different. You know, I'm over 40. So a lot of women I know um, in the workforce who are in their 40s would love something like this or, you know, even a woman um, maybe to go out for dinner or take on a vacation. You know, this is like perfect for that age group. Um, so yeah, don't buy just for what you like and what you're attracted to and what you wear, but think about all the people out there. Um, Coldwater Creek is a brand that I find a lot of around here. It is probably one of the nicest brands I'm able to source here in Iowa. Um, others would be J. Jill, Chico's, J. Crew, um, Talbot's. Those are all brands that pop up pretty frequently for me and they all do well. I kind of call them the, you know, your mall brands. If there's a shopping mall within two hour radius of you, you they probably have those stores. So even though we don't have a Coldwater Creek, and actually Coldwater Creek, they're now just online, I believe. Um, we never had one here, but I believe there was one in Des Moines. Um, and in, in my area in Iowa, people definitely on the weekends easily travel within a two hour radius to go do things including shop so um yeah Coldwater Creek like I said Talbot's we don't have here but I think there's one in I don't know Cedar Rapids I haven't gone anywhere to shop in ages so I don't know but anyway even though I don't have those stores here they do pop up frequently um second hand so anyway I'm gonna get these orders ready to go there's an estate sale tomorrow I definitely do not need to source anything so I'm going to be super 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 picky but I am going to go because uh, it's my favorite company and they haven't had a sale in a few weeks the owner of this of uh, this company goes to I think Arizona um, for a couple months in the winter so they still will have a sale every now and then but not as many as they'll have you know coming up so anyway need to get to bed and so I can get up and go to that so um, I'll take you along to that tomorrow and Hopefully we'll find some good stuff. It's a state sale Saturday and this is busy. A lot of cars here. So it's 10 o'clock. <clears throat> they open at nine, they go till 1130. Um, had a, I can't tell you how many times I got up last night with Mr. Charlie. <laughs> oh my gosh, having a puppy, it's like having an infant. But anyway, I'm here now, I'm going to see what I can find. a doll maker.
No matter the temperature, estate sales are always sweaty. <laughs> you have all those people in there, and oh my gosh, I mean, I even wore a t-shirt and lighter pants, but I had my coat on, so I had to take that off, wrap it around my waist. It's like sweaty estate sale Saturdays. That's what it should be called. Um, that woman was a crafter, and there were a lot of finished craft pieces. Ceramic, she painted, dolls, she made doll parts, and I'm not into any of that, obviously, but it kind of, you know, the thing with crafts is they really, some can sell, of course, you know, people do crafts on Etsy and whatnot, but so many of them are just, you know, you should make them because you want to do what you like it, because this is an entire house full of things that this lady has made. There's an hour left of the sale. It's all going to go to Goodwill or wherever they donate to, so kind of sad, but hopefully she liked them when she did them. Um, I did get some things. I was being super, super picky. Although that was pretty easy to do because, like I said, there wasn't that much for me personally. But all the clothes were free. The books were not free today, but I'm not going to get books anymore because I'm not going to do Amazon FBA because it is just personally for me not the thing to do. But anyway, okay, now I got to go home, take over the puppy babysitting because Papa has a couple things he wants to do outside. Thank goodness he woke up feeling completely fine today. The leg, it's like it's no problem all that yesterday when he was like in the worst pain of his life and then it's over which is great I mean thank god it wasn't something like a blood clot or a broken bone I mean he was almost screaming during the x-rays when they were moving his leg it was that bad and then to just be gone so that's arthritis for you it is a biatch it is so anyway okay off I go home and I'll show you what I got hey Charlie Charlie you want to do a haul video or you want to chew the blanket okay Lucy Lou Lucy, is there something under the chair that you would like? Huh? Is there something under the chair? All right, mommy, tilt it back. There might be a crumb. There might be a crumb under there. Did you find it? You gonna help mommy do a haul video? Okay. Papa's outside working because he feels completely better. So, didn't get a huge amount. I only spent $17. It was half off day, so if you see a price, just realize. It was half of that. Clothes were free. Um, most of them were like, you know, Sears and Penny stuff. I did find this women's Talbot's Petite's blouse. Um, and then this is a vintage Pendleton pantsuit. It's got the jacket, the skirt, and the pants. So, pretty nice there. Made in the USA, pure virgin wool. And the ties were also free. I just grabbed them. I'll look at the brands. I can always take these to the consignment store. If, like Arrow, I'll just take to the consignment store. There's Made in Italy. You might see about that. Stafford will go to the consignment store. Regal. I think this one was the Made in Italy one. I'm not sure. Made in the USA. Yeah, Made in the USA. There was another Made in Italy one I saw. This one. Henry Grethel. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. Stafford, Stafford, another Stafford. They take them at the consignment store, though, so. Arrow, consignment store. And Craft and Barrel Falco consignment. So, a couple we'll see about for eBay. I always lot them with others I have, because I haven't even listed the ones that I got um, in bulk. So, this is a Crackle coffee mug, Hershey's Crackle. It does have some spoon mark in the bottom, um, but I've never seen a Crackle mug before does have a little bit of condition issue in a couple places, but we'll see. They were only a quarter. Um, this was, um, or is, a Walt Disney mug. Vintage, made in Japan. It has, oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, God. A lot of stuff had condition issues. Um, Boyd's Bears, 1988. This is cool. This is um, Abacus. I don't know. Computer something. Basic, culprit, abacus. I don't know. The Tuscany collection made in Japan. I'm so bummed about this. Urgh, there was so much stuff that had bad, you know, like I said, there was a ton of craft stuff um, that things she'd made that I wasn't interested in. And then the things I was interested in had so much damage. I don't know about that. Oh, anyway. 
was a quarter. Uh, vintage Junie and Burke purse. Those always go well. Paid five. These are a couple, like I said, she was a doll maker. Um, but these were a couple that were in the box still, and they are applause brand, I believe. No, Nickenbacher, 1976. So I thought I'd give those a go. There's Charlie, chewing everything. This is a Cracker Barrel um, Beanie Baby. Couple vacuum cleaner belts, and then these little um, Boyd's Bears jewelry things. So. Not a big haul. I don't think anything here is going to be huge profit. Um, we'll see about the purse. That might be pretty good. And the Pendleton suit. Um, and, of course, these dolls. Um, oh, I did get a John Deere t-shirt. And then these are a pair of uh, Levi. Older ones, obviously. $32.29. Again, I thought with the clothes like this, I might just put $10 free shipping on it. You know, just to get a little money out of it. We shall see. But that is... Um, it for today's haul. Plenty to do. Plenty to list here. Right, Charlie? Right, Lulu? Hi, Lucy, Lou. Lucy, you want to report what you think of Charlie? Lucy and Charlie played for a half an hour last night. They wore themselves out. It was the best thing ever. Because she'd kind of been ignoring him or not, you know, didn't really want to deal with him. And last night they both played so much. Look at those puggy tails. Look at those puggy. Oh, you going to play now? gonna play now <laughs> that's good where's you at and get a nap oh Charlie oh Charlie what's he doing Lou oh I don't know Charlie oh, 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 oh let's not bang into the wall that's not a good thing we play but we need to be careful <laughs> oh goodness it's like having infants that can walk and don't wear diapers and that bite. I just filmed a little Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, I post a lot there. And there are a ton of resellers over on Instagram who are not on YouTube. It's just, it's fascinating. There's a whole other community of people that know nothing about the people on YouTube. And the YouTube people know nothing about the people on Instagram. It's very strange. But it's cool. It's, you know, different people doing different things. But I was talking about coffee mugs because, again, I get asked about this a lot. And I... Wanted to make the point, and I've said this in other videos, that 99.9% .9 of coffee mugs are worthless. When it comes to coffee mugs, you are looking for licensed brand names. So this is Hershey's. This is Boyd's Bear. This is Disney World. So the licensed item, the product, the brand, is what you want to look for first. Um, the other things you want to look for are condition. Mickey has a big chunk out of his cheek. That's going to make this guy pretty much worthless. There are a few little spoon marks on the bottom of this one. Um, spoon marks do, are not make or break. If you disclose them in the listing, some people will still get it for a special mug. This has a couple little dings in it, but should be okay if I um, disclose that in the listing. If you find just a general mug, let's say this was just a plain old teddy bear mug or just had some bees or something on it, and it was marked made in China, that would not be worth it. But this is a Boyd's Bears mug. So the licensing of it being a brand is what to look for first. Look at the condition second. And then if it is more of a generic style, then you're going to check the bottom and see if it has a mark. So again, let's pretend this was just a green and white striped mug. It didn't have the lettering. But you could look on it and see, oh, it was the Tuscany collection made in Japan. If it was just plain green and white and marked made in Japan, wouldn't be anything. But it has this Tuscany Collection brand name. That's going to be probably where the value. So we've got the Tuscany Collection. It has age because it's made in Japan. And it has this really cool pattern on it. So it's several things you want to consider before buying a mug. This mug, or this sale I went to, had a lot of coffee mugs. And again, 99.9% .9 of them were worthless. They were generic mom, dad, grandma mugs. Um some holiday mugs that were just Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Walmart junk. They weren't anything special. These were the special ones. Um, again, you can pick mugs up for as little as a quarter or sometimes 10 cents. I've been to garage sales where they're 10 cents. But I know a lot of people hear mugs and they go out and they buy all the mugs. And that's, <laughs> you don't do that with really any category. Um, let's say ties here. I went through my ties. Two of them might have 
resale value on eBay. The others aren't. Stafford, that's not a good brand. One thing you can do with ties is you can lot them together for crafters. Some do, um, they make like quilts or purses and things with ties if you want to do that. I'm not going to bother because I have the consignment store I can take them to. Um, so same with Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies aren't really worth anything. There are some out there that are. Do your, do your research. Go to a completed listing search. See what sells. I only picked this one up because it was Cracker Barrel and it still had the tags. So again, I go to a lot of sales with Beanie Babies. I pass them up. This one had the branding on it. And I thought, well, that's not something everyone is going to have access to. We don't have a Cracker Barrel anywhere where I live. Um, and so Beanie Baby collectors, and there still are people who collect them, um, may not have access to a Cracker Barrel and may want that. Probably not going to be a ton of money, but it was a dollar, I think. So no big deal. So hopefully that uh, helps you a little bit more when it comes to picking stuff out. You know, it's about the brand, it's about the condition, it's about the age. A lot of different things go into it. Sometimes you only need one factor. This mug, it's a brand, that's all it needed. Has a little bit of condition. It's not, oh, it is marked Japan, so it does have the age. But let's say it was just marked China. The fact that it's a brand trumps the fact that it would have been made in China, if that makes sense. So, yeah, when I go to a sale like this, what I do, obviously these mugs, I knew right away were special. The other mugs I did though that didn't look like anything, I still checked the bottoms of them to see if they had a brand mark, a date, a country. Um, none of them were anything special after I looked, but that is how I checked. So same with any kind of ceramics, figurines, china. I just go through the table and I do this on stuff I'm not sure about. Check the bottom, see what I can find, um, which is like why I like to go to the estate sales later on the last day when uh, things have kind of cleared out because then I do have time to go through the stuff. And there is a pug asleep on my foot. Are you serious? <gasps> Charlie, oh, Charlie. Sorry, I hate, I hate feet. I don't want to see other people's feet and I don't want you to see my feet, but that is super cute. Super, super cute, Charlie. Ah, napping dogs. <laughs> Peace and quiet. So cute. Wish they nap together, waiting for the time when they snuggle up together and sleep, like Max and Lucy used to. I think it's coming. Charlie just needs to get a little bit bigger. Had a couple more eBay orders come through. This is a, just a little Chico size one. Um three-quarter sleeve t-shirt I think I got this at either the Goodwill dollar sale or at the consignment store like in the 90% off bin so it was maybe 50 cents it was a buck or less um, and I put it up for $10.99 with free shipping it's gonna go first class it's super light then this is a leather wallet and it is the brand Gianni Bernini. Reason I picked it up is because it is genuine leather um, and it had this brand name on it. So um, I got this at an estate sale. It was either a dollar fifty or a dollar um, and it sold for $24.99 and I did put free shipping on it. Again it's super lightweight. It's going to go via first class. I've been working on getting the Fontanini stuff listed. The most difficult part of this is getting the stuff in and out of the boxes. A lot of it has styrofoam. You know how styrofoam is? There's little styrofoam pieces everywhere. Ugh. Takes me longer to get the stuff just in and out of the box than it actually takes me to photograph and write the listing. Ugh. Anyway, um, I now have one, two, three, four, five pieces listed. I paid $310 for everything. If I sell these first five pieces, at the price I want, then that will pay for everything. So everything on top of that will be profit. And there are, let's see, got the rest out here. There are one, two, three more house-like ones to do. Then we get into the accessories. I've got plans. And then there's two big boxes of the accessory pieces, the figurines and whatnot downstairs. So 
Yeah. Oh, this actually, you would think the Animal Corral would be worth more, but it didn't seem like this was. But again, it's what people price it at. So if people price it at 30, 40 bucks, that's what it sells for. I'm trying to price a little higher, but you know, price to sell. So, and of course this isn't the prime buying season for this stuff. It'd be more towards the holidays. So thankfully I have the room to store it and um, it can sit and wait for the right buyers to come along. What you doing, Charlie? Playing toys? You chewing your toys? That's a good boy. <laughs> All gonna sleep now? Where's Lucy? Lucy over there waiting for Papa. <laughs> oh, that toy makes crunchy noises. Yes, yeah, sirree. It does. It does. Charlie, hi. Aw. Mr. Charlie's working those teeth, aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. What you doing? What you doing, Charlie? Oh, no, we're not going to chew the inventory basket, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to kick you out of my office, buddy. You're too many things you could get into in here, aren't there? Yeah. Too much temptation. There you go. Get back in there. Hey, what's this, Charlie? Play our toy. He loves that when the music's playing. But it stops. He's not heavy enough to press it again, so then I have to do it. It's done. Oh, well, you don't even care now. You want to play with my socks. Oh my goodness. Play, play, play all day. And chew, chew, chew. Chew, chew, chew all day long. Chew in my socks. There's a bone. Chew your bone, honey. Here, Charlie. Ah, ah. Here, honey. Ah. Chew your bone. Chew your bone. Anytime they bite, you're supposed to redirect them with a toy or a bone. You're not supposed to say their name, but that is very difficult to do when someone named Charlie is biting your toes. Hey, where's your toy? Chew your bone. There you go. Good boy. Good boy! It is now Saturday night and I have three orders just come in. Uh, so another pair of these Amy Deluxe Super Stretch Pants that I got at Sam's Club. I believe I had gotten five pairs on clearance for $4.91. Uh, this is the second to last pair. I got five or six pairs. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so I paid $4.91, sold for $24.99. I did put free shipping on these, and they are light enough to go first class. These are these little uh, Thai Beanie Babies, the Mermaid, Hello Kitty. I picked these up at Dollar Tree when they had them several months back, so I paid a dollar. Um, I originally had them at $12.99. I did sell one for that, but recently they've just been sitting there, so I put it $9.99, sold another one. Um, I do have free shipping on this as well, but it's super lightweight, so it's just nice multi-quantity listing because I have like 12 or so of them left. Um, and then this is another set of flatware, and I could have gotten this in a fill bag sale or up to $9. I can't remember. Um, but it sold for $24.99, and I did have this on free shipping, I think, because it had been sitting around for a while. So, free shipping, yeah, it eats into the profit, but it's, um, I don't know if it really helps sales or not. I kind of feel like I have the same regardless, but it definitely cuts down on customers, like, trying to message you and say oh okay, you gotta give me a deal because i have to pay shipping or it just or what's the shipping going to be because for some reason they can't figure out the shipping calculator is literally right there and shows them the shipping so it just cuts down on all those questions um so i just make sure to price appropriately so i still get the profit that i want um uh, when you consider in the shipping and generally i only do it for items that are medium mail or first class if it's over two pounds or if it's over a pound for parcel or priority, I generally will put a calculated, unless it's flat rate. So let me back up. If it's medium mail, first class, or flat rate, I will do free shipping. Otherwise, if it's regular parcel or priority, buyer pays. So anyway, enough rambling. Time to go get these babies ready for Monday. Had one eBay sale overnight. This is a Union Bay denim jacket. I would have gotten it for less than three bucks. It sold for $19.99. I did put free shipping on it. Uh, it weighs over a pound, so it's going to go to flat rate bubble mailer. And this type of piece is a good lesson about vintage 
versus modern and if you should put vintage in the listing. Now this, I'm pretty sure is 90s. Um, so vintage is 30 years or older. Antique is 100 years or older. I put this on Instagram a few weeks ago and people got like, couple people got their their tits in a ringer because they're just like but if some kid actually said to me but if you were born in the 90s then anything 80s or older is antique I'm like okay I'm just gonna ignore that um so but technically vintage is 30 years or older antique 100 years older but vintage is definitely has you know some wiggle room um some people think vintage 25 years or older someone told me that on Etsy um it has to be 40 years or older. And there are some categories on eBay where they describe vintage as before the 1960s. So when it comes to reselling, it definitely varies. Um, but yet I see people who put things that are 10 years old as vintage, that's not vintage. But you do have some wiggle room whether or not you want to describe something as vintage. You want to be careful though, because if it's a collector piece um, or you're not actually sure, then you put something vintage, a buyer can come back and say, well, that's not vintage. Um, I looked at the date or the label and it's not whatever. You guys know what I mean. So anyway, you want to be careful. Now I knew this was 90s. I can tell because I, it's the label, whatnot. So I did put vintage in the title, just VTG, but I didn't put vintage in the actual listing, just in the title. Um, with these Fontanini, you would think, oh, those are vintage. I did not put these as vintage. Um, these are made in the late... I think most of the stuff I got was late 80s and then into the 90s. Um, you, you could probably put vintage on it. I didn't because Fontanini is for collectors. They know what it is. I don't need to like try to sell them on, ooh, I've got a vintage piece. So I didn't have to put vintage in it. They know what they're looking for. Um, this type of thing I did because the 90s stuff is kind of hot right now. So I did put it in the title. Um, but if you're looking like for, you know, a collector piece again like I said this Fontanini stuff and you're not quite sure you know you want to be really careful whether or not you put um, vintage or not on something because like I said it can come back and bite you in the butt if you've got a picky collector and that's again on collector pieces uh, vintage typewriters mechanical stuff you know you just want to be careful but anyway I just thought it was funny when I put vintage and antique on Instagram that a couple people just immediately like, well, it's a matter of perspective. No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. Go ahead and put your 10 year old item as vintage. And then when the buyer comes back and says, oh, this was made in China last year, then you can deal with it. Okay. All right. Back up to get this shipped and then back to the listing. Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie, this is not appropriate behavior. It's not appropriate behavior. Is it Lolo? I'm learning so much about this Fontanini stuff. Um, this set of six trees, I'm pricing at $100 for just trees. But the accessories are more rare than the actual village houses. Um, I've priced the village houses anywhere from $59.99 to $99.99. But yet, I've got six trees here that I should, according to comps, be able to get $100 for with the buyer's paying shipping. Isn't that crazy? And I have a ton of other accessories. When I was doing the research, when I was bidding on these, you know, the houses, of course, were selling, but then I realized the accessories is um, really where the money can be made because most people get the village, but then they want all the accessories. So anyway, let's hope that this little lot of trees can get me 100 bucks. That would be awesome. So the first set of Fontanini just sold. This was the lowest price item I had up so far. I only put this at $19.99, and that was because the comps seemed like this wasn't worth very much. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I should have priced it higher. But anyway, fast sale. It sold for $19.99. Buyer does have to pay shipping on this, and these suckers are heavy. So, um, yeah, glad to get the party started with this Fontanini selling. <laughs> ah, sometimes it's hard when you look at the comps and everything seems low. And then you realize it's low because people just priced it low. But whatever, glad to uh, sell my first piece. Getting ready to wrap up the vlog and I'm about ready to change out my purse from this brown quilted Vera Bradley, um, the mailbag style, to this new print I got with the matching wallet. Isn't that so nice for spring and summer? 
So anyway, guys, if you are liking these videos, please be sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.